we have a 2001 Audi A4. We're gonna show you how to build the clutch hydraulic system. So we have the brake fluid container right here. Um, this container supplies the brake system with the fluid and the clutch system. Now if you take the cover off, this hose over here, this, hose, this is the hose that goes to the clutch master cylinder. The clutch master cylinder is on the clutch pedal inside the car and then from there it goes to the slave cylinder and that's where we're going to be bleeding the system. As you see the clutch hose is a lot higher than the bottom of the tank. That's, uh, that, that's a safety feature. It's made that way so if your clutch system is leaking the tank only gonna go down to the level of the clutch hose and therefore you're not gonna lose your brakes you're still gonna have fluid in there so when you're bleeding the clutch system you can't let it go below the hose so you gotta keep an eye on the, on the level it's so here's the this is the clutch slave cylinder and over here this is the bleeder valve this is where we're gonna bleed the clutch system uh, be careful with the bleeder in a lot of Audis the cylinder and the bleeder are made of plastic so you definitely don't want to strip it or break it and you're gonna need a new one we have a bleeder screw this one is a 9 millimeter. Remember, it's plastic. Do not strip it, do not break it. Usually the plastic ones, they not really tight, so you open it up. Just enough for the fluid to start flowing out. Put a container under the transmission so you could catch the fluid. We have a little stubby, low profile. 9mm Orange Now close off the valve Don't over tighten it It's gotta be just close so the food is not leaking out, but not tight enough so you don't have to do several turns to open it back up when you're bleeding the system. Wipe it off, make sure the food is not leaking, means it's closed. Put the little bottle hose on and have somebody press the clutch pedal, but do not release it. So we're gonna be pumping like this. We're gonna Whoever's in the car, they're gonna press the clutch pedal and keep it to the floor. You're gonna have to close the uh, bleeder screw up, and then they're gonna release the pedal, and then do it over and over and over and over until you see no bubbles coming out of that bleeder screw. So here you go. Oh, press. Release, press, 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 release. Constantly check the fluid level so you don't get new air into the system. Otherwise you're gonna be bleeding it like that forever. Press, release, press, release, press. Now close the valve off and slowly open it up to see if there is any bubbles coming out of it. Slowly so it doesn't scorch you in the face. And have somebody hold the pedal down at that moment. Looks alright for now. 
pump it hold yeah we see absolutely no bubbles coming out and the system is wet properly now wipe all the fluid off and we'll pump the pedal again to make sure there is, there is no fluid leaking pump it again hold it looks good put the bleeder cap back on and wash all the brake fluid off your transmission and especially off the body of the car the brake fluid doesn't dissolve the paint right away but if you leave it on the paint you will dissolve it over time so make sure you wash all the brake fluid off you can wash it with water brake fluid comes off very easy with water that's about it